and leave it. No, that's not how we end this. What do you mean? You don't give a shit. If I didn't give a shit, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ty, what's going on? You know what? I'm done. You're a shitty excuse for a mom. Yeah? Yeah, and nothing's changed since I've been back. You know what? I'm not gonna stop you. If you think you'll be better off without me, then go ahead. Good luck crawling back to your mother again. Why don't you go see if your dad will help you? I don't need him. I don't need you. I don't- No, I don't! I'm sorry. I'm usually more prepared than this. Uh, please, give me just a minute. Where am I? <sighs> On November 6th, 2016, you, Tyler Jonas Bennett, will walk across Kenmore Avenue in Buffalo, New York, oblivious to the SUV that is exceeding the posted speed limit of 30 miles an hour. You'll be hit by the vehicle, sustaining multiple contusions. Among your injuries will- My dad? You're about to enter a period of recollection. Memories from your life will be presented to you one last time. You will see core moments from your subconscious that, whether you're aware or not, made you into the person you are today. No, this can't be happening. Tyler, there really is no other way around it. Are you ready to begin? All right then, let's get started. Your mother spent most of her time caring for you in the early stages of your life, giving you the impression your father wanted nothing to do with you. Him leaving you at such a young age had an early effect on your issues with abandonment. Why is that important? I don't even know who my dad is. This is the information that's been given to me. Am I going to be able to say goodbye? She's been important to your personality development. What personality development? Her busy work schedule, around the clock, left you feeling unwanted. Alone. What else is new? My mom was never the compassionate type when my dad left. So you thought your life would be better off without her? I never thought about leaving the house till I was 16. But bringing that unwanted and careless attitude into school alienated you from any social contact with people. Instead of finding others to fill that void left by your parents, you kept cutting class and getting yourself suspended from school. The thing you have to understand, Tyler, is that you were not ignored. When your father left you two alone, she's been the only one to take care of you. If she didn't work as much as she did, you both would have ended up homeless. She might not have been able to spend much time with you, but she lived for every chance she had. This is the hardest part of the process. to me. Your time is up. Your flash is now complete. My flash? This. 
These past few hours are what is commonly referred to as your life flashing before your eyes. And now that you have your answers, you're being returned to the final moments of your life. Am I gonna die? Death is a component I have no control over. To be honest, I have no idea what happens beyond our time together. I can tell you this. I have seen the same faces on more than one occasion. What about you? What happens to you? Nothing. I am simply an advisor, here to help one find the answers they seek. Do you have a name? Can I say thanks? I have no name. I'm only an advisor. Yeah. 